Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and in today's episode I will be showing you how to roll back your Windows install if you have upgraded to the latest version of Windows 10, aka the latest build. For instance, right now it is the Creators Update, which I showed you in a former video on how to force update. In this video I will be showing you how you can roll back to the previous version you were on, like let's say the Anniversary Update. This is also a way you can do if you have upgraded to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1 or Windows 7. This also works the same way. Also, if you upgraded to 8.1 from 7, this would also work. It's a very similar step setup. Otherwise, this is basically a video on Windows 10's transition way, but it will also work with Windows 8.1 just to keep that in mind. Anyway, so in today's episode we will be rolling back to the anniversary update. And before we begin, you only have 10 days from the day that the update has been installed to roll back before you can't anymore. And there's a few caveats here. When Windows upgrades you have these files which are backup files, essentially a whole backup of your previous operating system before everything was done. So if anything has been changed or saved, it will be erased for the most part, like programs and stuff. The files you have saved should still be there, though I would recommend maybe doing a backup of anything you have changed before you roll back. Also, if you do not have these files still on your drive, there is no way to roll back and I will quickly show you what these files look like. If we go to, for instance, um, this PC and go to the drive, we'll have these Windows folders here, um, like for instance, Windows Old. Windows Old is the anniversary update I have here. And without these files here, and these files up in here, we can't go back. And if you have any of these files damaged, you can't go back. About 90% of the time, you can always go back if you've upgraded to the latest build. But if you don't want to risk it, I would recommend backing up your Windows before going to the latest build. But either way, you can usually go back as long as those files are there. If they aren't, then you have the problems. You can't roll back, and I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's begin. We will roll back our copy of Windows 10 to the anniversary update from the Creators Update. So what we will want to do is go to Search and type in Settings. And from here, we will want to go to Update and Security. Once we're in Update and Security, we will want to go to Recovery right here. And then here we have two ways to go back to Windows 10, the previous build. We can either go to Advanced Startup, or we can go just and click this, which would be the fastest and easiest. But let's say the latest build has somehow corrupted your Windows install and you can't get it going up again. You can always go into the Advanced Startup menu, like if you have to force it in by restarting Windows three times while it's booting up it will go into the advanced startup menu and I will now show you how to do that and then after I show you how that would work we will go and do it the way that I am going to do it so let's restart now okay we are in the advanced startup options in this case like like I said before if you had problems booting you would eventually end up in these menus more than likely so, we'll end up going to Troubleshoot, and then go to Advanced Options, and then go to go back to the previous version. The computer will restart, and then go into a program that will allow you to roll everything back, and we will see that in one second. Okay, and in this case, we would choose the account, then we type in our password, then we'll click 
go back to the previous version. And then after that, it will start running a program and everything will go back. But in this case, I want to do it the other way, which I am going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so we're back on the desktop and we'll go over here real quick. I'll show you that we are still on the creator's update. As we can see here, build 15063. Okay, so we will go back to the settings. If I spell it correctly, oops. And then we'll go back to update and security and then go over to recovery and then go to go back to previous version. We'll click get started. We can tell any reason why we're going back, but who really cares? Click next. You don't have to check for updates. It's just wanting you to keep on the same build you were on currently. So just click no thanks. It will say that you'll have to reinstall some stuff. I've all recovered all this. You should be fine. We'll click next. And then it will also say that it's going back to the old account and stuff. So if you've changed your account information, it's going back to the previous account information. So you'll need to keep track of that too. We'll click next and we'll go back to the earlier build. Now this will load up a temporary like running program in the background which is like a different build of Windows. It's like a very lightweight version of Windows that will just be running the backup itself and it will as you'll see pop up and just like that right there and then it will start doing the restore. Now restoring to your previous version if it's successful is actually pretty quick. It is a lot quicker to restore than it is to upgrade because Windows already has your old copy on the drive where your new copy has to be created. This just has to basically cut out all the new version and shove it back into what's already on the drive as the backup. So this shouldn't take very long at all. And when I say that, we're talking maybe 10 minutes or less more than likely. Upgrading can take hours, where downgrading takes just minutes compared to it. So I'm not saying it will take 10 minutes. It may take longer, but in my previous experience, it has been pretty quick. The computer's restarting. and it appears to have worked. We can verify real quick. And as we can see here, we're back on build 14393, and we have the 2016 copyright date again. And that's how you roll back your copy of Windows 10, or Windows in general. And that's basically it. So anyway, that's the end of this episode, and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.